My name is Sheila Horton. I've been working down at Cobo since 97. I'm a janitorian. That means I clean up Cobo Hall, the office, the restrooms, take care of the customers. We actually work today. You know, he um, took care of, cleaned up a couple of office, you know, restrooms, tables and chairs. My name is Ken Cockrell Jr. and I am currently the mayor of the city of Detroit and I'm running to keep the job. Yeah, it was actually very cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was very eye-opening in terms of being able to uh, spend a couple hours walking in the shoes of an, SE, of an SEIU employee, uh, cleaning bathrooms, uh, emptying out garbage cans, going from office to office, wiping down tables. So I actually liked it. I enjoy working with him today. I um, enjoy talking to him, finding out more things about the city of Detroit, the plans that he had for the city of Detroit. I really liked um, being his boss. I liked telling him what to do, how to do it, when to do it. He, he caught on, so he's a good learner. You know, he followed directions. Yes. I'm in and out of this place all the time, you know, for things like the auto show, and autorama, different meetings, different events, exhibitions, but never looked at it in quite the way I have today. So, and that's why I was saying earlier, telling some other folks, it was a very eye-opening experience. Fine, I was just trying to do the best job I possibly could, trying not to mess up. I know it may seem like it's easy, but, you know, there are certain skills and nuances to getting it right. <laughs> he just opened it up and just put it down in there, but no, actually, when you pull the trash, you're mainly supposed to, you know, put the, you know, open it completely, open it, and tie a little knot around it, and sit it for it can fit in the bag so, you know, you throw your trash, you won't, you know, the bag won't just come apart. Well, you know, I, I thought Sheila was great, and one thing that I like about her is she's easy going, but don't let that fool you. I mean, she's, she's very firm. She's, I think she's a good boss, good supervisor, good mentor, and uh, it's very easy to pick up stuff from her because of her style, because of how she supervises. Like, um, when I put the garbage can liner in the can, you know, she told me I had done it the wrong way, but the way she did it was very cool. She was like, well, that's not quite right. Let me show you how to do it. And that's a skill now I'm gonna use at home. So, and that's what, really what you want from a boss or from a supervisor, or from somebody that you work with and serving as a mentor, showing you the ropes. You know, you want them to point out the stuff that you're doing wrong, but then show you how to do it right and be cool about how they do it. And she was. Wow, are he actually gonna do this? You know, you know, I was like, dang, do I, should I do it for him or should I let him do it? Or is he actually gonna, you know, cause you know, a lot of times people don't like to just, you know, clean toilets and stuff like that. I just thought it was a great experience. To be perfectly honest, I kind of wished I could have actually done it a little bit longer. It was just a very eye open experience. It's frankly something that I would recommend that a lot of other elected officials do and not just in an election year. I mean, it really gives you an appreciation for the day-to-day -day job that a lot of working men and women here in the city of Detroit and the Detroit metropolitan area are doing every day. I make me feel good, make me feel that um, I'm glad that he understands that the struggle and how hard that we have to work each and every day and the walking that we does every day. I have more respect for him today. Actually, I have more, at first, you know, I didn't really care that much but actually working with him and getting to know him as a person. You know, I really enjoy that. You know, I think he's a really nice person. You know, I don't have those Down syndrome feelings that I was having about him until today. It made me feel more, you know, I have a lot of joy. I have a lot of respect for the union. Uh, I've seen what they do and how they do it. It definitely gives you an appreciation for kind of the often unseen work that a lot of our union employees here in the city of Detroit are doing every day. You know, I mean, the work that they do is important work, but I think that in some cases, it's work that a lot of us don't really notice or pay attention to. And this was an opportunity to really have that work brought to the forefront. 